Hey, welcome back to Two Minute How To. Real quick, I'm going to show you how to install a tile bull nose. Quick and simple. Let's get to the video. I've been installing this shower tile, and I've got to put bull nose right here and along the bottom, along the edge of my floor tile. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So the look we're going for is this look right here. We're going to have the wall bull nose coming down and it's going to sit right on top of the floor bull nose. It's actually being used as a baseboard. So let's do that first. We're going to do the floor one first and then we're going to come down and we're going to do the wall one to match up to the floor. Probably the most important thing to take away from this video is whenever I'm putting the mortar on the back side of this tile right here, this bull nose, is how to make it to where when I put it on the wall, it's not going to ooze up out of the top of it and just get all over my freshly painted wall. So let me show you how to do that. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, this is the bull nose side, which this is the top of it, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my mortar from here down because whenever you push on this and apply it to the wall it's going to push that mortar up and the whole idea is you don't want that mortar to come all the way up past the top of this bull nose and get all over your wall so i'm basically just putting it on the bottom like the bottom two-thirds of the tile you don't want to set it down with the bottom like this and then smash it up against the wall give it a good wiggle I'm gonna put spacers underneath the bottom of it just to give me a little bit of room to grout tomorrow whenever I come in here and grout this. Bull nose installation using this baseboard and as you can tell there's no mortar that oozed up out of the top of it. Okay, so I've got my tile cut and I've got my the back of my tile buttered with my mortar like I showed you just a second ago and I'm ready to put it on. Gonna give it a little wiggle, a little smash. Then I'm gonna put a spacer in here to make there be a little bit of a gap. And that's all there is to it. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.